Hello students. Before we look at index law number five itself, uh, again, we'll quickly review uh, four terms that we use for both arithmetic and algebra. If you're adding two terms together, that's called a sum. Subtracting two terms is a difference. Multiplying two terms is called a product. And what we need for this video is if you divide two terms, the answer is called a quotient. So let's write this expression in index form without brackets. So I've got all, I've got a over b all to the power of four. So, whoops, let me go get my pen tool. Let's write that out in expanded form. That's a over b times a over b times a over b times a over b. Now, if you recall your rule for multiplying fractions, we just multiply the numerators. a by a by a by a is a to the fourth. b by b by b by b is b to the fourth. So here's an expression with brackets, and it can be rewritten as an expression without brackets. Okay. What do you think the general rule for this is going to be? Well, hopefully it's fairly obvious that when I write it without brackets, the power gets put onto each of the each of the terms. So the general rule is going to be a to the power of m over b to the power of m. Okay, and the rule in words is the power of a quotient because we're dividing, that's called a quotient. The power of a quotient equals the quotient of the powers. The power of a quotient equals the quotient of the powers. There it is written algebraically, and there's a worked example. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that. Okay, we're going to write each of these three without brackets. In fact, I might do the hard one at the bottom and then let you try the easier to. Okay, so the index law number five says we can write that as 3c all to the power of 3 over 2d all to the power of 3. So I got rid of the large brackets surrounding the quotient. I still have brackets because I have to raise all of that to the power of three. So now we can use the previous index law and say that's going to be three to the power of three, c to the power of three, over two to the power of three, d to the power of three. Okay, so now we've done what we said we, uh, were, what, we what we were asked to do, which is to write that without brackets. However, normally, if you've got a number to a power, we tend to simplify that a bit further. And 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. C to the power of 3. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. D to the power of 3. So just quickly summarizing that, the first thing I did is I used index law number 5 to get rid of the large brackets. And I wrote it as... Um, expression over expression. I then had to apply a previous index law to get rid of these brackets, 3 to the power of 3, c to the power of 3, for example. And then finally, because I've got some numbers, 3 to the power of 3, that's best written as 27. Okay, have a go, please, at the other two questions on the page, and then restart the video. Okay, first one, hopefully you just wrote the answer down really quickly. That simplifies to P cubed over Q cubed. With the second one, we can get rid of the large brackets by saying that is 4G all to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 2. Now, 4g all to the power of 2, we can get rid of those brackets by saying that's 4 squared g squared over 9, since 3 squared is 9. And finally, 4 squared is 16 g squared all over 9. 
Now it turns out we can, or sometimes we want to go back the other way. So we have two powers and we want to rewrite it as a single power. So let's do that on the next page. So I want to write each of these three with brackets, or probably a better way to say is with just a single power. So at the moment I've got two powers just there. So let's see how we go with that one. So first off, because they're both raised to the power of four, index law number five in reverse can be P over Q all to the power of four. I'll write that a bit more neatly. P over Q all to the power of four. Now with this one, it looks like I want to write everything to the power of three. So how do I write eight to the power of three? Well, if you know your, your number facts, eight is two times two times two. So I can rewrite eight as two to the power of three. And then I can write K over two all to the power of three. Okay. This one here, it looks like I want to write everything to the power of three. So I've got to write that to the power of three over n to the power of three. So I can apply the index law. Well, what raised to the third power gives me m to the sixth? That has to be m to the power of two. Since multiplying powers to multiply, sorry, to raise a power to a power, you multiply powers m squared all cubed is m to the sixth and now I can write oops now I can write all of that to the power of three which is m squared over n so a quick check m squared to the power of three is m to the two times three which is m to the sixth over n to the power of three so that that does check out Okay, we'll stop there and move on to the next index law in the next uh, video.